Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, I want to go through some mistakes I think you want to avoid, especially in the early game uh, progression side of things. So the first one we're going to look at is going to be in the arena, and that is focusing too much on arena units and arena teams. In the early game, I feel like what your focus wants to be is on your PDE team, trying to get yourself to farming LR gear as fast as possible, because even if you have all the PvP units built in two to three days time when others are farming LR gear, if you've got no gear, you're just going to get clapped no matter what units you have built. So focusing on PvE units is what I would focus on doing. Um, and if you look here, yes, Arena does give really good league, uh, league ranking rewards, but... You don't want to focus too much on that, like I said, because you're only going to get through a few of the leagues and then everyone's going to outgear you and then you won't be able to climb the league. So I think focusing on your PvE team is ideally what you want to do. And if you look at my account, you can see, to be fair, I've got I've got Yami, uh, I've got Lotus and Mars who are all good PvP units, but you can see here, I'm still focusing on my Chami because she is my PvE healer. So that's all I'm focusing on. I haven't really leveled anything else up except for Charlotte through the tutorial uh, and Asta through the tutorial and you know. So like that's all I've got built. And the reason you want to do that is because if we look here at my Lotus and I try and rank him up, you can see I've only got three of these. Yes, I will get more over the next day or so, but I've only got three left. And the only two characters that I've built up is Yami and Mars. So if I went ahead and built like three other units for PvP, I would then come to my PvP PvE team and I'd be struggling to build them up. The other key things that we need are experience and also bond because bond is how you get to UR and LR with your characters. And if you're spending time leveling and bonding up your PvP characters, then you're losing out on your PvE characters. Once again, whales may have a different experience, but for free to play, that is definitely what I recommend. So the next thing I want to go into has to do with the gateway of reunion. Now, this one, I... I recommend, yes, you can select someone, you can start working towards them, but if you are still summoning on the banner, uh, on, on the on the season one banner, whilst doing this, don't so don't collect your character reward from the gateway of uh, reunion until you've so you've said to yourself, I am done summoning on the season one banner, because say you only have. Asta from the season one banner. So you're like, okay, I, I want to get Mimosa. So you're doing Mimosa over here in the gateway of reunion. And then you collect her from the gateway of reunion. Then you do another 10 pull on the banner and you get another Mimosa. That would suck. You'd rather have Mimosa and Yami. So for me personally, I'm just going all the way on my, um, my Asta here because I have the other two and I'm not summoning on the banner anymore. But don't collect this because you can reset it. Resetting it is a bit of a bitch because you've got to go through and you've got to do like your 15 arena battles again. You've got to do all these again. These don't retroactively count. You've got to go through and do them again. It sucks if you reset, but it sucks worse if you've doubled up on character when you could have had all of them. So that's my big tip there. Don't collect this. And I th don't think a lot of people would be at the point of collecting it yet, but don't collect it until you know you're done summoning on the season one banner. All right, so the next one I want to look at is going to be the Mage's Path. Don't ignore this thing. Stay on top of it. Uh, whenever you get to something, that's what I focus on. I got to reach uh, Bond level 8 with a Mage. I just farmed some Bond uh, to go ahead and get there. You're going to need to get your characters to Bond level 10 anyway to go ahead and get them to LR. But I like focusing on this thing uh, because a lot of the things aren't retrospective. Uh, you know, clear technique one time. Let's have a look. Uh, try to upgrade gear, gear five times. But there are some harder ones than that that will be like you're like oh i've done that but now i can't do it so i've got to wait or it's just frustrating so staying on top of this is very important and not ignoring it plus it gives you a ton of rewards bunch of stamina and stuff like that that will also help your progression into doing other things you want so for instance here i got to clear some limited challenges then i just got to do uh technique dungeon three once uh and then over here i try and upgrade gear five times i get another 100 stamina it just keeps the thing flowing especially Especially for the, through the early game so definitely don't ignore this stay on top of it it's great rewards and you don't want to like get to day two where you like progressed right through the campaign and everything like that and then you're like oh crap i gotta go back and redo a bunch of this stuff so definitely stay on top of the mage's path next up i want to talk about the limited challenges now i recommend doing these towards the end of the day so you can do uh as much especially on this one as much uh score as high a score as possible uh, but for these ones you can do the hardest stages now these ones do have the thing that uh 
you do have a first time clear to get gems on all of them but i kind of like just going straight to the harder ones and pushing as hard as i can so doing these towards the end of the day also i didn't have the balls to figure it out myself someone leave it in the comments if you do know because back on the canadian version i remember this i, I remember distinctly that this was an issue that i got into where i got up to this one on the major's path where i had to clear the lim uh, the the limited challenges and because i'd already cleared them for the day it, this wasn't retrospective and I had to go through and redo them. So I don't know if that's still the thing on global or whether these are retroactive, but just in case, that's why I avoided doing mine until I got to this point here because I didn't want to risk it not retrospectively counting and then bricking uh, my major's path because like I mentioned, major's path is an important one. But definitely don't forget to do them either. Um, if, if you're a forgetful person, just do them straight away. But as you can see with this one, if I had have done it at the very start, you know, I, the 65,000 would have been all I could ma manage. But now I should be able to clear the 108,000. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful than me, but I should be able to clear the 108,000. Uh, uh, obviously not the 180, but I should be able to do this and get some better rewards from it. So that's what I'm looking at there. But doing these towards the end of the day, if you really do want to min-max your results. And the final thing I want to talk about is stamina. Now, obviously, the first thing to do with stamina is you don't want to overcap it. That's pretty self-explanatory. However, there is a caveat to that in this game because in the early game progression, you get so much stamina just thrown at you and you'll probably find yourself sitting at like 300 stamina of 120 and you're like, what? how do I burn this as fast as possible? Depending on if you're going to go to sleep, maybe there's a there's a reason to just burn it. But for me personally, the way I played through it, uh, I just kept my stamina overcapped. I didn't try and rush and like auto through, uh, you know, some, some normal challenges like the forest here. I didn't try and auto through some easy stages just to burn my stamina because even though yes you're no longer capped so you're generating stamina you've wasted that stamina at a much lower of efficiency to what you otherwise would have used it at so if you are in that early game phase you're progressing through the campaign you're doing all that stuff i wouldn't stress if you are over capped and i would just keep pushing because you you increase your power so fast in the early stages of this game um like I said, my team's at around 90 something power, 90 something thousand power. And we're what, 12, 12 hours into the account, 14 hours into the account or something like that. So you do progress really quick. Uh, so don't stress too much about overcapping at the very early stages. But once you get to the stage where I'm at like this, you don't want to let it overcap. The other thing is you don't want to let your income overcap either. This thing, I think it's got about an eight hour timer. So make sure you stay on the top of this because it's going to give you some good uh, stamina and stuff like that as well to keep yourself progressing. Now, the other thing to do with stamina is in your inventory. Don't be popping these consumables as soon as you get them. You can store them. Uh, I've already used my daily one because I needed the stamina, but uh, with with these stamina boxes, just leave them until you really, really need them. Uh, I also, I'm min-maxing a little bit here. I'm leaving these because I know there's going to be a major's path mission where I need to get X amount of SR gear, X amount of SSR gear. And if that can save me doing a run uh, of gear of gear farming at a lower tier, then I will do that. So uh, there's little min maxi things you can do like that of not opening things, but we, in general, don't open your stamina. The cool thing is, like I said, from your daily missions, uh, the box you get, you don't have to open that, so you can stock them up as well. And that pretty much covers the biggest mistakes I think you want to avoid, especially in the early game progression. Let me know if you guys have any other tips uh, that I missed. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.